So, as you may know, there are many different types of fursuits, but it has been brought to my attention that some newer members of the furry fandom may not know the difference between all of them. But although I could be here all day going over all of the different types of fursuits, I'm just going to go over some of the main ones just that everyone is aware. So, number one, mini partials. These ones are usually the ones that you see that are only the head, paws, and sometimes the tail, sometimes not the tail. It really depends on the fursuiter. But essentially, these ones are for the people who either can't afford a full suit, or it is too hot uh, where they'll be, or they'll be dancing or something, uh, and it will not be ideal to be wearing a full suit. So, number two, full partials. These are usually the ones that include just a little bit more, like for example, arm sleeves or maybe feet paws and all that good stuff. So they are still ideal for hot climates, dancing, people who may not be able to afford a full suit and uh, so on. So the next one is uh, three quarter fur suits and these are usually the ones that cover most of the body that you can see but could be missing some key feature like for example maybe the tail or the chest fur. So I know that I've gone over this one already before but plantigrade fursuits are very different to digitigrade fursuits so let's just quickly cover both of those. Plantigrade fursuits are the ones that people often refer to as the straight legged fursuits which you can see to my right. Um, you can see that the legs are more human shaped, uh, unlike digitigrade fursuits, which you can see is more like the animal type leg, uh, which you can see to my left. But apparently there's something that links to this that I didn't even realize that existed called digi stilted fursuits, which is actually quite hard to find a direct reference to online. But essentially these are mainly to do with the feet paws to where the digitigrade aspect looks more realistic. So the last one is quad fursuits, which are quite an interesting thing that I'd only just remembered existed in the furry fandom. And these are the ones where fursuiters are put into a strange posture, um, which are on all fours, and they're usually used for performances or Therians who are in the furry fandom, and they are usually quite interested in this type of fursuit. However, an honourable mention, although they aren't usually worn publicly, is Kigurumi's. And these are just adult onesies, basically. I'll put up images to my left and right, just so that you can see what I'm talking about, because I honestly, I can't, I can't really explain these. But anyways, I would really like to thank the Reality Reaper BC for this video idea, because otherwise I would have been completely stumped. <laughs> I have no video ideas right now, so feel free to leave some in the comments, and uh, I'll try to get some myself, but I can't promise anything. So with that, I hope you will have a fantastic day.